What is going on, everyone? Thank you so much for coming back today. Thank you so much for just taking time out of day to just click on today's video. Man, it truly, truly means the world to me, so I want to say thank you. Today, I thought I'd make a video of just times that Hollywood waited way too long to make a sequel. Uh, now, I have three examples of that. I want to talk about reasons why I think the original worked so well, and then I want to talk about reasons why I think the sequel failed so badly. Um, now, obviously, I want to hear from you guys, so drop me a comment down below whenever you get done watching this video. Let me know, am I completely wrong? Um, I want to know from you guys. Um, you know, these three movies that I have are just cinematic gold, in my opinion, that are just movies that work so well, just just staples in cinematic history. But then, for some reason, Hollywood just did not capitalize on the success right away. First one we're going to talk about today, we have Bad Santa, 2003. Now, this movie still holds a 75% on Rotten Tomatoes as we speak. Um, now, this movie stars Billy Bob Thornton. You know, in the early 2000s, Billy Bob had perfected this, like, drunk, abusive, like, verbal asshole, just a beaten man. All of his movies in the early 2000s, he pretty much played the same character, and he did it very, very well. Um, the movie of Bad Santa, he's a mall Santa. He will go set, deal with the kids, um, all the ruckus that comes along with that. Um, and then as they close on Christmas, they will rob the mall and steal the money and go away. But this movie had such a great supporting cast. It had such a great storyline um, that it just works so freaking well. And it's just one of those classic movies that I still watch every single year for Christmas. Now, 13 years later comes along, Bad Santa 2. But at this time in 2016, Billy Bob, that humor was not the same anymore. It, it had kind of got played out. You know, Billy Bob was not as relevant as he was in the early 2000s. Um, you didn't have the great supporting cast. You know, you had a certain bit of magic with... Thurman Merman, the kid in the first one, and now he's a full-grown adult, but he's still playing or trying to play the same character of the innocent, naive kid, and it's just not working. It did not work well. And of course, you had in the first one, you had John Ritter and you had Bernie Mac, who obviously they have passed away, so you can't have them in there. It's just the magic of that movie was gone, um, but they still went forward with it. The script was very weak. Um, the casting for this was not good. Um, you kind of just try to recycle the original, um, just to try to get a money grab. And it just did not work for me. Um, I did not like this movie at all. I was severely disappointed when this movie came out. You know, it's still, right now it's holding a 34% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, I was severely disappointed when this movie came out because I love the original so very much. And the best way I can describe this movie, just kind of in a nutshell, is whenever Thurman was opening up his advent calendar in the first movie, but Willie had got drunk and kind of ate all of his chocolate, so he had put stuff back in there to kind of replace the stuff, and he pulls out a piece of candy corn. And, you know, Thurman's like, candy corn? And Willie's like, well, they all can't be winners. And there's a candy corn in this one. Well, they can't all be winners, can they? Bad Santa 2 is not a winner. Next up on the list, I have Zoolander. 2001, Ben Siller starred in and directed. It's holding an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes right now. This all stemmed from a VH1 skit in 1996 of like a fashion award show where Derek Zoolander uh, was this next top model. Now, they made this into a movie. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, the script was funny as hell. Derek thinks he's going to win this fourth consecutive Male Model of the Year award. Um, his rival, Hansel, played by Owen Wilson, uh, ends up taking home the crown. Um, Migatu, played by Will Ferrell, tries to brainwash Derek into killing the Prime Minister. Derek and Hansel must now work together to stop Migatu. Um, it was the stupid humor that I loved in the early 2000s. It was very well written. Um, the dialogue worked. The cast worked. And also, too, in the early 2000s, Ben Stiller really could do no wrong. What I love the most about this movie is it just seemed so funny that they just turned on the camera and just let it roll, and that's what we got. And it was just pure comedy gold. 2016 comes along 15 years after the original. You have Zoolander 2. Um, at this point... I kind of thought it was going to be a little bit dumb, but I still had to check it out cause, just because I love the original so much. Now, this is holding a score in Rotten Tomatoes of a 20%. Again, it's the same humor they used in the first one that they tried to just recycle in the second one. It was just not working. You know, that humor, that comedy 
was kind of done at that point. Um, it was not funny to people anymore. The sarcasms and the puns just did not work. It seemed like they were focused more on just having cameos every few minutes inside this movie instead of focusing on a script for the actual movie. They definitely relied on the cameos to carry the script and there was just not enough there to carry that script along. As I got done watching the movie, I just said to myself, it took you 15 years to come up with this story. I honestly felt like I was watching an SNL parody of Zoolander. Like, it was just so bad that they were just making fun of it the whole entire time. In closing, the one thing I think Ben Siller should have asked himself when he was deciding to make Zoolander 2 is, why male models? So why male models? Because it was just not good. Last one I have to talk about. This one truly just breaks my heart. Um, because the original is one of my all-time favorite top five. Easy. And I think it would be in a lot of people's top five who watch this movie. Of course, I'm talking about Dumb and Dumber 1994. Still holds a 84% on Rotten Tomatoes right now. 1994 is pretty much the year of Jim Carrey. He had so many great movies come out. He had The Mask. He had Ace Ventura. And, of course, he had Dumb and Dumber. The story follows Harry and Lloyd. Uh, Lloyd drives a limousine. He takes Mary to the airport. She leaves a briefcase. He decides to pick up this briefcase and return it to Mary. They drive across country. Man, it is so classic. It is such one of my all-time favorites. At the time, Jim Carrey could do no wrong. Like I said, he was just comedy gold in the early 90s. This movie kind of had a sense of innocent where you're just like, maybe they really are that dumb. And it just made it hilarious. Like I said, top five all-time favorite comedies. I don't think anything could surpass that. So, of course... In 2014, I got super excited when I heard they were going to be making a Dumb and Dumber 2. They had Jim Carrey returning. They have Jeff Daniels returning. What can what can go wrong? Um, wow, a lot could go wrong. This right now holds a 35% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, 20 years later, this movie was made. You know, in my opinion, the storyline, no pun intended, was dumb. Um, the innocent humor was gone. Uh, Jim Carrey was not really as relevant as a comedian actor as he was back in the 90s. So that didn't work that well. I was not excited to see this movie play out. You want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Hey, you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Watch this movie. You know, I just can't help to see that these movies were just cash grabs for these studios. Um, I don't think any of these three movies on this list needed a sequel i think they were fine just the way they were they should have left them alone um of course i'm curious to hear from you guys um which one of these movies were you most excited about coming out uh for me for sure dumb and dumber 2 i was so excited to hear they were making that and just the pure letdown that i had watching that movie um but guys that's all i have for you guys today if you wouldn't mind on the way out the best way to support me and help support this channel is hitting that thumbs up button down below if you're not a subscriber click it it's free what are you doing um, I'm so close to a thousand, so I'd greatly appreciate it. And then out beside that, turn on that little bell notification and select all. And then YouTube will send you a nice little reminder whenever I upload a new video. And it'll be so kind and so softly of be for Brandon upload a new video. And that's what I'll say. Um, guys, I thank you. I love you. Mom, I love you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys. Want to hear the second most annoying sound in the world? Sure. Hey. If you want to watch another video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click over here. As always, thanks for watching, guys.